uh, maybe I call my father and ask why I wasn't assigned to this because uh -huh. I usually am. Uh -huh. So it is a little like maybe I sit there and sketch for a while and like that's, that doesn't yeah. seem right. Like, a little OCD, like yeah, just yeah. usually. So, so I, I call father and ask, uh, hi, dad, how, how are you? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little curious why, why wasn't I wasn't assigned to this. I'm, I'm, I just well, he says, little, what, what difference does it make, this scoop or that scoop? I don't know anything about that stuff. Uh, uh, yeah. Let me ask around. Let me ask around and see. Uh, your father is, uh, uh, there's no real captain of a ship like this. There are different <laughs> administrative managers, different administrative uh, uh, heads of different departments and things like that. Um, and your father is much more interested in more, uh, uh, well, less physical aspects of the ship, right? And so uh, so he's, he's fine. He finally hear from you and he says, make sure and get out there to Moonville. Listen, uh, I just looked at your schedule. You're, you should be out there having a good time. You know, go and... You know, excuse my crudeness, members of my play group, but go out, get out there and see some tits, son. Have a good time. Uh, I would like, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. And then, then I uh, the, set the down and the call. Oh, it's going to like, be one of those I'm, conversations. Okay, bye, Dad. Uh, <laughs> right. no, but, uh, uh, end the call and like, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit here and sketch. I'm going to just sit here and sketch. I don't, don't want to get outside. <laughs> Do you want to investigate the situation further, or is that enough for you for your character? Excuse me? Yeah. Uh huh. I want to send a fan mail to Max. Max that was great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, <man>. thank you. <laughs> uh, Perfect. Okay, so well done. And so we it, have uh, the, the. So now, as you will see, the we do not proceed by me making the scenes like they do in RuneQuest for the most part. We proceed as you put your character into the next situation that makes sense to you, one after the other. So whoever wants to do it, and now it's everybody has gone once, so now it's anybody, and feel free to include other player characters if it makes sense to you. Uh, I, I think my character, like, first listen to his father and sketches a bit, but then, like, there is it's not right so he maybe investigates i think he 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 wouldn't go out he was he would try to use uh, information he has in his room before he would go go out so maybe he looks through the computer or maybe other uh, other stuff maybe he looks for other people that can be uh, assigned to it mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is something like that. So he looks through that paper. Does he find anything uh, you useful? Certainly, in that? You, you certainly find that there's an unusual amount of security that a number of people like yourself are not included when they should be, and that a certain number of uh, what you might think of as kind of company enforcement personnel hmm. are... Um, are involved in the repairs and they have no business being involved in repairs. These people are not, are not, they're not, they, they, they don't know. And so there's a select group of repairmen and some of these guys are, are working on this scoop. Uh, all right. So that, hmm. this is the kind of thing you wouldn't really notice unless like yourself, you were actually staffed on these things and had experience. It's kind of like the customers would never know if the restaurant staff was screwed up, but anybody who worked in a restaurant would know. Yeah. Right. Um, well, and the, the question is how to proceed, but I think uh, he, uh, I think uh, he, 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 might, he might go try to go outside and l look if he can. Uh, I, I think we're we gonna stay there for there now. I, I think okay. we stay there for now. Okay. He, he tries, but he doesn't okay. find anything. And like, okay. Puts it on. Uh, yes, hmm? Sandra. 
Yes, uh, after I'm well, after the ship is out of me and I'm sutured up and everything, uh, I will go to the dining hall or lunchroom or whatever it's called, and uh, uh, I. Uh, and I usually go and sit. Uh, well, well, I look for people that I know have a higher grade ship than I have, and uh, they uh, usually sit uh, out. Uh, well, w- when where less people sit, so they if they need to talk about something that's out of other people's classes. Right, right, exactly. I usually sit on a table alone, not. Mm-hmm really doing right. anything and they don't really care about me because I'm the loner right. so they don't really bother and I sit there trying to listen to what they say maybe if there is someone that I can try to get some information out of to become you know use as an ally to to do something I don't know I don't know what yet because I will have to see how it all plays out but, okay. uh, well I think that maybe the idea that your character is using as many connections as you can to be as successful as you can in uh, trading the chip or otherwise you know doing something secretly out there in the moon base with the right connections right that's what you're trying to do whatever it is? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, it seems to me that uh, if you're going to be spending this much time on it, we need to see whether it works or whether you get uh, confined to the ship under guard for the rest of the stay. What I'm trying to do now is just sit and listen. uh, Right, but your ultimate goal is to find the right person to talk to. Yes. Well, you do. Okay, yeah. You do. Yes. And so we could continue through a number of these details you find a person who, you know, wants to do a drug deal and wants to use someone else's chip, not theirs, and is willing to do a trade. So you would be identifiable as maybe buying some cheap, boring drugs, but that's not really a, you know, it's not really a crime for someone like you. They don't really care if, you know, some technician smokes something on the ship but they do care if a guy at this guy's rank smokes something on the ship. So it's better for everybody if you buy this stuff, that is to say your chip buys this stuff, and um, and he gets to have it, and in the meantime you can use his chip for whatever it is that you need to do to go off and do stuff with. Do that. That's, Excellent. Yes. So that's not really even a conflict. This kind of thing goes on all the time. This is standard okay. interactions among, you know, the culture of the ship. So uh, really the people who have the chips and things and keep all the records, all they want is no problems. Right? They don't care yeah. about the actual activities. They just don't want any problems to come up to their level where they would have okay. to deal with them. So as long as you guys all do your little deals down there, Everybody looks good. A good report can be sent to headquarters. That's all they care about. So um, if the if the situation becomes more difficult than that, well, that's where the guys I was talking about before, that's where they come in. Okay. okay. So, um, the, so we don't really need to do this as a conflict until we get to the point where you do whatever it is you want to do out there I, I want to see what we're not allowed to see what they're keeping from us I want to know their secrets Ooh. <laughs> okay well yeah. there are whole areas of Moonville where you are not allowed to go I mean some of them is just because they are corporate headquarters and different things like that well, yeah um, I, I don't care about that industri- others are industrial and scientific research labs for other corporations or for any corporations really in fact, this is the place where materials come in from all over the solar system. And there are all kinds of uh, specific tests and things. Why take them to Earth where it would be more dangerous? Why not have testing facilities out here in the moon, away from Moonville in some kind of special laboratory? So 
Do stuff. we have uh, Do we have Nia uh, venturing out of the ship and actually going to such an area? Because I think can we do something that uh, that she basically stumbles over right. Sam? Mm-hmm. So because I'm going to ask, I agree. Um, so that's why I'm going to ask Sandra: Are you going to leave the ship and go to this incredibly tantalizing and exciting place that I have described? Yeah, sure. I can do that. Sounds good. <laughs> Excellent. Using the using the officer's chip is easy to get in the little roving, you know, little roving car that will take you out to that laboratory. Um, on the way, uh, you will have uh, you will encounter the 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 cook that you know from that same cafeteria. Okay, uh, uh, I she will. She does not uh, look like she looks awfully upset. She is in this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say you have gotten away from that residential area, and you uh, desperately needed to. In fact, you might even run out in front of this eight-wheeled little car, right, passenger car that's going along the road toward that laboratory, and you run out like waving your arms and and fall. I need a ride. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I I will just say that I will stop the vehicle because I uh, when I usually sit uh, on my edge of the, our small little dining room, uh, the, uh, I will as you will. I hope that you will have been nice to me and I imagine, like you know. Uh, I would you like? Me. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I, I you don't have to run in front of the car, the vehicle. I will stop and say. Okay. Hey. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh-huh. yeah, so good. Excellent. You are allowed to drive this because they your chip says you are allowed to. Yeah, right. I'm an officer now. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So, um, so the question is, uh, what will you two do now? I just tell, I mean, thanks for stopping. Thanks for taking me in. I, I think I've seen you around in the cafeteria. You did guys I? might actually know I'm... each other by name, I think. Okay, yeah. great. Nia, thanks. You really helped me out. I, I I had some horrible experiences. I just wanted to buy some spices and then everything got completely out of hand. Can I stay with you? Uh, yeah, I mean, things seem to be out of hand here. I'm... Um... I'm uh, doing some work of my own. I can't go into oh, detail, oh, okay. but y- you you are welcome to join me if. Um, well, since you also see that there's something strange going on, would you be willing to investigate with me, or would you stay in the vehicle? Mm. Okay. Because if uh, I need to know if you will be on my side, if not, I will have to ask you to stay in the vehicle uh, while I do my research. Uh, b- but you're, you're, uh, you can absolutely come with me to where I'm going. Uh, Out of the frying pan. Um, I think I'm. If you don't mind, I I just I just stay in the figure. I I don't really. That's fine. I'm. So the the vehicle proceeds across the away from Moonville into the dark, right? Into the dark, away from the lights, right? Down one of these roads and into a security area. Uh, that is automated, but the vehicle has the right identification, and so you can just drive into this area. Uh, this You will have to get into your suit, which is very easy to do. It's very automated. You just put out your arms and sit in the right spot, and the suit climbs onto you. And um, the not because it is computerized or robotic, but because it is just made to come on very easily. Yeah, and so, Good. then I'm camouflaged. Yeah, and so then, uh, and so I'm going to say to get what you want, 
in this area. Now, what this area is, is just a little door that is built 